Hello, my name is Jocelyn Walters Vrabel. I am 11 years old and I live in Cheswick, Pennsylvania. The name of my story is How the Peacock Became Colorful. Once upon a time in India, there was a peacock named Padma. She was known for getting lost and not having any navigation skills. Even though Padma was forgetful, she loved building machines to help the other animals. She was especially skillful at building complex machines, which completed simple tasks called Rube Goldberg machines. Her muster, or group of peacocks, had stunning pure white feathers. They cherished their white feathers and did not like it when they got dirty. In fact, they didn't like it when anything was dirty. They all wanted everything to be white and pristine, just like their feathers. They painted the trees, grass, and everything they came across white. Padma sometimes got sick of all the white. She thought it was bland and boring. She tried speaking up at the town meetings, but they ignored her because she was just a forgetful little peacock. One day in spring, Padma was playing with the other peacocks. She noticed a beautiful butterfly and was distracted away from her group. Padma followed it into the forest, chasing it, leaving her playmates behind. She was so distracted that she didn't even notice the blueberry fly through the air and hit her. She looked, and to her surprise, the blueberry had stained her white feathers blue. A banana then hit her and stained her feathers yellow. Then pears stained her feathers green. Padma, shocked at the state of her feathers, wondered where all the fruits were coming from. She looked up, and there was a monkey holding another banana, aiming for what was left of her white feathers. Padma realized that she was in the monkey's part of the forest. Padma, worried at what the muster would say about the state of her feathers, ran home to her mother. Her mother was surprised about how beautiful she looked, even with colors, and the rest of the muster agreed. They all decided to go to the monkey's home and make a deal. The peacock said that if the monkeys give them fruit to make everyone and everything colorful, Padma would share some of her building talents with the monkeys. The monkeys decided to be friends with the peacocks, and the peacocks agreed. The new friends had very colorful party for the new traditions made. Padma soon after built a Rube Goldberg machine so that it would be easier to make everything colorful. It worked by having a basket full of fruit, and when she tipped it over, the fruit rolled down a ramp. The fruit went through sharp rocks to slice them, and then big log that smashed the fruit and let the colorful juice out. The juice got dumped onto the grass, trees, and peacocks so that everything and everyone became colorful. They all realized that the smallest and most forgetful minds can make the biggest difference. So if you ever see a peacock with colorful feathers in a blooming forest, it's all thanks to Padma. The end.